Hi, Chef Jeff here. I'm in Boston's famous North End on Hanover Street. We're smelling all the wonderful smells of Little Italy, the garlic, the Parmesan, the red sauce on the stove. I'm here to visit my good friend Frank DiPasquale at Brico. I look forward to taking you with me and trying some of his wonderful cuisine. Chef Jeff here, I'm with the owner of Brico, Frank DiPasquale. Frank. It's wonderful to be down here, but before we go in your restaurant, I understand you have some things, your bake shop, your salami shop that you'd like to show us. It'd be an honor and a pleasure just to show you. Follow Thank you very much. Let's go. This is where it all starts with a great piece of bread. We have our prosciutto and parmesan. Mm -hmm. We have our sunflower and flaxseed. We have our mountain bread, which is whole wheat and cracked wheat. So how many loaves of bread do you go through a day? I would say that 1,500, 2,000 to 2,500 pieces of bread a day. And uh, the of course, they're all like little children to me, and I love each one of them exactly the same. All right, Frank, we've seen the bakery. On to the salami shop. Let's do it. Chef, let me tell you a little bit about this store. We sell cheese. We sell all types of Italian bibite. We sell all kinds of pastas. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your fresh mozzarella, because that's well, we have key. Well, we have a certain general manager here and chef that does everything for us. This is Joe, and Joseph does all our fresh mozzarella daily. Are we going to get a chance to try some? Absolutely. Chef, here we go. Let's give it a taste. Oh, looks beautiful. Frank, that mozzarella was unbelievable. Now you've got me dying to try some of your other traditional dishes that you serve in the restaurant. Well, let's do it. I'm dying to show you. Well, Chef, welcome to Brico. Now it's time to taste. Very good. Thank you. Come right in. Well, Joe, Ross, welcome. We're at Brico's with Frank. About ready to start with our first course. What do we have for us today? Well, seeing that I'm from the Campania region of Italy, I thought it would be appropriate to bring some uh, zucchini flowers. And uh, it's stuffed with ricotta, chive, and uh, a little bit of truffle. Let's give it a shot, I hope you like yeah. it. Thank you, thank you very much. I think the truffle inside of the zucchini flower is very nice complement to the overall um, flavor of the whole dish. It's light, it's refreshing. You taste the flavors, you taste the truffle to your mm -hmm. point. Inside the zucchini flower is nice and light. Everything was outstanding. Looking forward to the other courses coming up. Thank you, enjoy. So here comes the second course. So what do we have here in front of us? This is a, a formula of a shrimp scampi. And we layered it with a, a little bit of a mascarpone layer of a, a formula of a lionese potato. The mascarpone just gives a little bit of an edge. And this is just outstanding because of the lightness of the dish. Thank you. The flavors on these courses have been outstanding, and I look forward to the next course. Well, let's not talk about it, let's bring it on. Thank you. What we have here is a tortelli pasta, and it's done with root vegetables, that is the sauce, and it's a little bit of ricotta salada on the top, mm -hmm. and now uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy this dish. This is one of my favorites. What's really nice is that the dish has a butternut squash filling, so with the root vegetables on top of that, it just kind of pulls all together and it's a nice fall theme for your restaurant. Outstanding. Thank you. Our next course is Steak a la Fiorentina. And what we cooked the steak in was in a, a brick oven. And that gives you that perfect char on the outside. And when you open it up, you'll see it's nice and rosy right on the inside. I definitely like the outside flavor with the char on it, with the age of the ribeye on the inside. So Frank, we have the final course before us, the dessert course. Why don't you walk us through the different presentations just prepared for us? Okay, well, we have a homemade ricotta pie. I think you're gonna enjoy this dish. We're pretty famous here for uh, bread pudding, mm -hmm. all right? And we have just a vanilla gelato here. And the last dessert is a delicia a limone. And that means delicacy and lemon. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> I'll dig in right away. I in this ricotta. Now we have the limoncello. Yeah, like I say, so I think we I need a toast before, here. Salute. 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 Thank you very much for your hospitality, yes. Frank. It's, it's been an enjoyable, enjoyable adventure. Place. It's Thank been a pleasure so much, serving you and being here to express my food to you people. Thank you so Thank much, you. sir. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank Chef. You.